Hello everyone, in this section we're going to discuss the weighted voting system. We're going to learn how to represent weighted voting systems numerically and we're going to determine the winning conditions and compute the bands of power index of voters in a weighted voting system. First of all, a weighted voting system with n voters is described by a set of numbers listed in a bracket containing quota weight of a voter 1, weight of a voter 2, and weight of a voter n. So the first parameter quota is the number of uh, votes necessary in the system to get a resolution passed, and the weights are the amount of uh, votes controlled by each voter. For example, in this weighted voting system, the quota is 51. It means the system needs 51 votes to pass a resolution. The first and second voter has 26 votes each, and each of the remaining voters has 12 votes each. This system needs 4 votes to pass a resolution, and each voter has only 1 vote. This is an example of a one-person, one-vote situation. Because we have uh, seven voters here, a simple majority is enough to pass a resolution. And this example shows the quota is 14 and the first voter has 15 votes. Then the first voter has the total control. The remaining four voters have no power in this system because the addition of all their weights is less than the quota. So the, here we call the first voter is a dictator. In this example, the sum of all weights for the voters is equal to the quota. It means the system needs all the voters vote for pass to pass a resolution. Here, every voter can prevent a resolution from passing. We say this voter has veto power. This system needs 12 votes to pass a resolution, and we have exactly 12 voters, and each of the voters has only one vote. It is a 12 angry man case. Every voter must vote for pass to pass a resolution. In this system, the quota is equal to 12, but uh, the sum of all possible votes is less than the quota, so no resolution can be passed. For this example, we see the quota is 39, and the first five voters have uh, seven votes for each of them. So the total votes for the first five voters is 35. It means in order to pass a resolution, we need all the first five voters vote for pass, and in addition, four of the remaining 10 voters must vote for pass. Now let's introduce the condition. Any set of uh, voters who vote the same way is a condition. Every voter in the condition may have uh, some weights. So the weight of the condition is the sum of the weights of the voters in the condition. If the weight of the condition is greater than or equal to the quota, then the voting system can pass a resolution. So the condition is called a winning condition. For example, in this weighted voting system, we see any condition of uh, four voters can form a winning condition. Next, we are going to try to find a winning condition from a voting system. Here we have uh, three voters, R, D, and I. R has nine votes, D has eight votes, and I has uh, three votes. It means that the weight for R is equal to nine, the weight for D is equal to eight, and the weight for i is equal to 3. The problem is to list all possible conditions and identify the winning condition. Actually, the problem is to list all the possible set of uh, r, d, and i. We have uh, 8 conditions including r, d, and i by themselves, the combinations of uh, r, d, r, i, and d, i, and the whole set of uh, r, d, and i. Then we calculate the weights for each condition by adding up the weights of the voters in each condition. We see that the condition RD 
RI, DI, and RDI are winning conditions because the weights are greater than 11, that is, the majority of the votes. In a winning condition, if a voter leaves the condition, then the condition will no longer be winning. Then we call the voter a critical voter. Now we see in the condition RD, if R or D leaves, the condition will no longer be winning. So R and D are critical. In the condition of RDI, no matter who leaves the condition, the remaining condition will still be winning. So in this case, there is no critical voter in this condition. We should notice that here we only consider one voter leaves the condition to determine if this voter is critical or not. Then we define the bands of power index for a voter. It is equal to the ratio between the number of times the voter is critical in winning condition and the total number of times voters are critical in winning condition. Let's also look at the last example. We see that R, D, and I each were critical voters twice. So for R, the bands of power index is the number of times the voter is critical in winning condition, that is 2, divided by the total number of times voters are critical in winning condition, that is the sum of uh, the times all the voters are critical in winning condition, that is 6. So the ratio is equal to 1 over 3. That's the bands of power index for R. Similarly, we can calculate the bands of power index for D and I. We're going to have the same answer, 1 over 3. So this means the voting power for the three voters are the same in this voting system.